Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again with episode number 20 of the Tottenham career mode and we get straight into the action in this one. We've got a massive game in the snow away at Chelsea. As you can see, they're third. We are fifth, but just two points behind Arsenal with a game in hand. So if we can pick up a victory today, we will be back into those Champions League spaces, which would be absolutely crucial for us heading forward into the last few games of the season. If we can make sure that we are in and around those positions, then we stand a great chance of qualifying for next season's Champions League. We go close here through Jackson Martinez. Decent cross stood up out from the right-hand side, and unfortunately the header isn't quite accurate enough. Straight at Mark Schwartz. And uh, actually Chelsea have sold on Petr Cech, I think, because uh, they had Schwartz as starting in goal and Rene Adler on the bench. So I think uh, Petacek must have been moved on. But we get a penalty here. They're playing Nathan Ake at the back, at centre-back. And as you can see, he makes a, def uh, makes a mistake here, a defensive mistake. And uh, maybe that's a bit, I don't know, inexperienced perhaps. Because in a game of this magnitude, uh, it really is quite, uh, quite amateurish to play such young players in uh, such an important game. But Jackson Martinez is going to step up to take the pen. Puts it away with fantastic quality right into that top left-hand corner. And we make a good start in this one. We head into first half stoppage time. Still got that 1-0 lead. But Torres has played through here. Lovely ball. Beats the first man. I really shouldn't have slid in there. And then he shows a lovely finesse shot into the top right-hand corner. Great touch. Great turn. Great finish. And we go in at half-time at 1-1 in the snow. And as you can see, it's pretty pretty even. There are a few chances either side. But nothing really... Uh, no team really putting their authority on the game and they made a couple of changes just after half time bringing on JT and Andre Schurler so bringing on pace and strength going forward and defensively and Andre Schurler was involved here as you can see breaking down their left hand side pops the ball in and uh, I probably could have let that go out for a goal kick but uh, we actually kept the ball in play Essien has the shot and eventually it trickles out over the line for a Chelsea corner but they made some changes I reacted with a couple of changes of my own bringing on Jermaine Defoe and Gilfie Sigurdsson they are kind of my go to substitutes on the bench at the minute kind of bringing a fresh impetus in midfield some extra legs and of course Defoe's pace up top as well but I kept as we did in the previous episode I kept Defoe behind Jackson Martinez so crucially we've got Martinez and Jermaine Defoe on the pitch at the same time and they link up very very well here Jermaine Defoe pushing down the right hand side has a decent shot that's well safe from Mark Schwarzer and Jackson Martinez is on the end of the rebound to pop it into the back of the net but you'll notice from the replay again it's a defensive mistake it's actually another youngster it's Callas the young Czech international and uh, you can see goes for the overhead kick clearance they're not really too sure why he does that because of course Jackson Martinez is extremely strong in the air as he proved there to uh, to put us 2-1 up and Sami Eto had a decent chance with a header of his own there coming into the last 10 minutes of the game but fortunately for us it was straight at Brad Friedel and we do take 3 points from that so absolutely delighted to be able to take 3 points away at Stamford Bridge that is a massive massive result for us huge for Tottenham and uh, huge for Chelsea as well crucially because we are now within touch of them in third place and uh, Arsenal are still within striking distance so the Champions League spots are still definitely well up for grabs whether the title is or not I'm not entirely too sure but as you can see we're now in a game against Spartak Moscow win the Europa League now of course we put in a fantastic display in the last Europa League game which was the second leg against Standard Liège where we scored four and Freddy Guarín gets us off to a great start truly spectacular finesse finish from the edge of the box right to that far bottom corner and he's proved to be a fantastic signing for us scoring goals willingly bursting forward from those central holding midfield roles and uh, getting stuck in in the tackles as well and uh Moscow kind of switched off just before half time for us to uh, to get in front there and they didn't switch on just after half time either that ball through to Lamella kind of took out their whole defensive line it was a good shot from uh, from Eric outside the left foot that fortunately for uh, for them was saved but Yunus Kabul shows great strength to make that run from deep in the box you'll see from the replay he starts off the uh, the the wrong side of the penalty spot and he's going to make that run towards the back post as he pulls a couple of defenders with him they can't keep up they haven't reacted in time and Eunice Cabal shows a great leap to get on the end of it to put us 2-0 up and then we push further forward into the second half this time it's Freddie Guarin looking for a second and again goalkeeper dives well down to his left to make a good save and the ball is going to go out for a corner but we're going to whip it in again after they make a change taking off Bill Yeletinov obviously used to play for Everton but Soldado is going to go up for this one doesn't quite get there Freddie Guarin with another effort he's definitely on form right now and now 
that stings the palms of the goalkeeper. And again, we have another corner. Christian Eriksen is going to bring this one in. We've already scored one from a corner, and we make it two from a corner and three overall. Jan Vertonghen rises powerfully in this one to get up above his marker and pop the ball into the back of the net. Really good leap and a great uh, attacking incentive to get onto that from a centre-back. And David Alaba's pushing down the left-hand side. Just ten minutes left to go. They think they've cleared the ball. It's not. It's fallen straight to Freddy Guarin. He's going to turn inside. He's going to have another whip, similar to his first effort, and this time it strikes the post. So unfortunate for him there. And Nani's flash effort goes straight past the uh, the far post. And win. Unfortunate not to take a 4-0 lead, but uh, they got a free kick back in the defence for an offside. And we actually got them straight on the counter-attack. How good is this ball from Christian Eriksen, by the way? Straight through to Soldado. Tried to angle it by bringing it down on his chest to get him to take it on his right foot, but it didn't matter. Fantastic technique to uh, to rifle it in. Keep it low, crucially, as well, with his left foot, with his weak foot. And we take a 4-0 lead and a really, really commanding stance in this uh, in this tie. Obviously, it is two legs. We still have to go away to Moscow in a couple of games' time. But we uh, we really should be uh, making it through to the next round of the Europa League. I think the next round is the quarterfinals, or this is the quarterfinals. I'm not entirely too sure. My memory fails me. But as you can see, we got an email saying potential international management jobs. And the two teams listed are Korea and Belgium. Now, Belgium is a team that I would definitely like to take over internationally and take them through to the World Cup. If they've qualified, that is. If they haven't qualified, then I won't take them. But uh, Norway... <laughs> we do get an international job but it is from Norway as you can see and uh, I'm not going to take that one sorry Norway but uh, you haven't qualified for the World Cup yet and I don't want to take you through to uh, to Euro 2016 because we're not going to get that far through this career because of course next gen is on its way and we are starting again with the career mode at Chelsea when next gen comes out but in this one in this Tottenham career mode we're now in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup at home against Millwall had to play them in their uh, their third choice kit in the orange but uh, they defended superbly throughout this one they were playing a 4-3-2-1 formation so it was very narrow through the middle and the uh, the two central attacking midfielders a lot of the time just dropped into midfield and rather than having a flat five with uh, you know two wingers out either side there was just a just a bulk of midfielders in the middle just five bodies in there all the time and I had to go around the outside of them if I wanted to create anything in this game and it was particularly difficult because they had such movement the five could just kind of shift from side to side as I moved the play and they were always doubling up on the player that was on the ball and it was extremely frustrating they came close there Liam Trois actually I think that was a little bit closer than it may have looked at first uh, first light decent technique although probably a little bit static with his back probably could have leant back a little bit more and got over the top of the ball got too much elevation on it and uh, unfortunately for them it did go over the bar but Chadley's breaking down this left hand side you see trying to make use of those wider areas but uh, they get a decent header away falls to Kapu trying to uh, emulate Freddy Guarin from uh, those holding roles but unfortunately his finesse shot isn't quite as good as uh, as the Colombians and we unfortunately don't take the lead from that by making my two favourite substitutions again on come Gilfie Sigurdsson and Jermaine Defoe to try and make the difference in this one and uh, it was Chadley involved picking up the ball giving it to Kapu finds Jermaine Defoe and I tried to take it early and find that far bottom corner but unfortunately he just put it too close to the goalkeeper right down his throat and couldn't quite find the angle to get it inside that far post and it does stay at nil-nil. But we're pushing forward again. Still just 10 minutes to go. Jackson Martinez is going to find a bit of space. Aside to have a whack. And the goalkeeper makes a good save. Defoe's going to try and get to the end of it. Try and create something. But unfortunately, his positioning wasn't quite too uh, quite too good. And he was caught offside. But as you can see, Trot's picking up a free kick there. Or picking up a yellow card rather giving away a free kick of course we've got Gilfie Sigurdsson on the boo on the pitch and he is spectacular with free kicks but this one just isn't good enough and that kind of summed up our entire display in this one we had plenty of chances we're going to get another one here with Defoe breaking free a perfect opportunity just get it on target and he doesn't he puts too much behind it gets it over the bar and it's just incredibly wasteful from us and unfortunately this game is actually going to have to go to a replay something that we really didn't need with the volume of fixes we're facing at the minute but we are going to have an extra game to play in the next few weeks really disappointing but Millwall will be absolutely delighted with that and they'll fancy their chances taking us back to the nude end so I'm gonna to have to be on my uh, on my game when we go into that replay but as you can see we sat fifth in the table we personally have nine games to go everyone else has eight so uh, we can go above uh, Arsenal if we win that game in hand and level on points with uh, with the team that's in third so if we can get properly inside those Champions League positions and cement our place in those Champions League positions crucially over the next episode or two then hopefully we can uh, we can maintain that position and hold on for a Champions League spot next season but that is going to bring this episode to a close so thank you very much for watching guys please feel free to leave the video a like if you did enjoy that would be absolutely superb and uh, if you aren't subscribed already then please feel free to do so there will be a link in the description and an annotation on screen over the little subscribe button and if you missed the previous episode there will be a link on screen as well and an annotation over the playbook 
button so you can go and check that particular video out but thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you tomorrow